Okay, we're going to take a trip through the um, course description or syllabus, whatever you want to call it, for this year. Um, this is a general overview of the course. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I'll leave that to you, taking some time to read. Uh, our course meets during F block. Um, my freeze are A, E, and G. So um, the best thing to do is to either catch me at the end of class or drop me an email saying that you want to meet because um, I tend to bounce between Marshall Offit and the art building so it's not always easy to catch me because I tend to move around a lot during the day. Um, the objectives for the course are here. They're pretty straightforward. Um, you need a textbook. You need a pencil, graphing calculator, laptop. You don't need the book every day for class. Um, don't worry about shuttling that back and forth. That can stay at your house or your dorm. Um, but everything else, you know, you should intend to have. Uh, this is the pace of the course. Um, note it says subject to massive revision because, you know, school happens. Uh, I will update this as we need to. Um, anytime that I update the syllabus, uh, you'll get an email about the update, and um, I'll put highlights in the syllabus with, with what I've changed. Uh, this course is basically nine units long. Um, I hope to finish Unit 9 sometime in mid-April, uh, so that you have pretty close to a month of prep um, for the exam. So I'd like to land as early as I possibly can. Uh, the exam date this year is May 4th, so there you go. And then afterwards we have a couple of days of stuff that's just not related to that. Uh, the grading policy is something that we should probably review. Um, uh, you have two semester grades. Um, each semester grade is broken into a course grade, which is 80%. 20% uh, comes from that semester exam. Um, the course grade is broken into two parts, summatives and formatives. Summatives count 90%, formatives count 10%. Um, ultimately, the, uh, oh, the, the second semester, though, actually is um, all your course grade, because this is an AP course, there is no, um, what do you call it, uh, because this is an AP course, there's no uh, final in the class. Um, please note this one, it's kind of really important. Um, because this is an AP course, um, I do not offer retakes. you got to get it on the first go-round. It's, um, it's important that you're prepped and you're ready. Um, just like the AP exam, there is no retake for that. Um, I do uh, curve the exam, quote-unquote curve. I use the... Um, the same logic that the AP does with respect to things. So the five range on the AP would correspond to an A, the four range would correspond to a B, the three range would correspond to a C, and so forth and so on, on my assessments. So we don't retake summative assessments in this class. Um, there is no extra credit. Uh, to be and not to seem is kind of the goal there. Um, when you get your report card, you'll get the sliders about, you know, engagement, attention to detail, organization, self-advocacy, and timely completion of work. My comments will be derived on uh, the ideas of uh, critical thinking, creativity, collaboration, curiosity, and perseverance. Okay, so then when I write my comments, those are the five things that I look at. Um, and then the sliders go in there on the, uh, the report card. Down below is just stuff that is pulled straight for the student handbook. Uh, policies on attendance. You might want to read that over. Uh, academic honesty. You know, uh, a quick note on academic honesty: the difference between collaboration and cheating. Um, collaboration is like two people sit down with a sheet of paper and work together. They throw that sheet of paper away and then each hand in their own work. Cheating is one person has a sheet of paper with all the work on it and the other one makes a copy of that. Okay, so that's different, right? So be aware 
Uh, cheating will not be tolerated. Collaboration is encouraged. Uh, so that's it. That's the, uh, the syllabus for the year. Um, if you have questions, feel free to email or ask in class, whichever. And I uh, hope you have a great year. All right. Thank you.